Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm having a seriously hard time believing right now that this is the beginning of 2016 and this is my first video of the whole year. So I thought I better make this a freaking good one. So I'm gonna do the whole beauty roundup of everything I loved in 2015. So I literally have a giant sack of stuff. There were so many products I loved in 2014 that haven't changed, so I'll link my 2014 favorites below. So if you want to see everything in categories, I just picked out all the beauty standouts from 2015 because so many things didn't change I didn't want to talk about them again and you're like, we heard you talk about that freaking ages ago, woman, get with the times. So anyway, I literally pulled so much stuff out of my beauty cabinets and oh, <laughs> my car keys are in here. I was looking for those. <laughs> I'm going to start with makeup, obviously. Obviously, and I'm gonna start with the foundation I used the most this year. This was the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I <laughs> bought like a summer shade, a winter shade, an autumn shade, a spring shade, so I have so many freaking shades of these. This is the most long-lasting matte, but not cakey or flat matte. Flawless skin inducing foundation. It is super, super, super lightweight for a matte foundation. And if you're looking for something to last and to keep you matte for a seriously long time, look this way. It does take quite a bit to blend, so I like to apply it with a beauty blender or with my fingers. My concealer combination will be given away by this freaking disgusting looking pan right now. This is my third or second, and I think I'm on to my third already. It's a Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. It's like a gorgeous salmon color that just counteracts any blue bags or veins I have, and it doesn't crease on me as well. I do find, compared to the Bobbi Brown, I find the Bobbi Brown a bit too thick compared to this, and then to brighten up my under eyes. You guys no, you guys just know that I freaking haven't touched anything else except the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer all year. It is creamy and it is radiant. The name just does everything. <laughs> you guys know I love my palettes. I talked about every single different type of eyeliner and cream thing and palette and not palette. Basically everything in my 2014 favorites. Not much has changed. I still love the Charlotte Tilbury palettes a lot, but the standout product for me this year were these Giorgio Armani eye tints. They're just unlike a cream and they're unlike a powder. They're a liquid, kind of almost glossy looking, but not too glossy that it's sliding about the place eyeshadow. And you apply them like you would a lip gloss with this funny doe foot applicator. And they're really buildable. You can use one layer for something quite sheer. You can build it up to three or even four layers. And the shade range is just there's basically every shade you could ever want. It goes all the way from blues to creams to browns to purples. I did want to give a mention to these, the collection eyeshadow palettes. In my opinion, these just kill it compared to all other drugstore eyeshadows. Plus, they're really neutral palettes as well. They're really creamy and they're very similar to the Urban Decay palettes. I totally ditched Anastasia Brow Wiz this year because this came along, the Urban Decay Brow Beater. It has a really fine nib like the Anastasia, but I just find it much easier easier to apply and easier to blend and I also find it lasts longer on my skin. The brush is very similar to the Anastasia one as well but I just think it just does a better job. It's a bit of a stiffer brush. This is one of my favorite 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 products of the year this is the YSL Le Saharian Sun Clist Blur Perfector. It's essentially a cream bronzer but it's just butter it is like butter on your skin it blends so beautifully it gives you like a bronze from within look it looks so natural on the skin it doesn't slip or slide around or it's not hard to apply like i find a lot of cream bronzers are or cream products in general it just has a fantastic formula and I love the color as well as you can see like with my it's just so dirty and messy but that just shows you how much I love it in terms of primer there was one standout from this year just because I feel like there's no other primer I found like it this is the makeup forever mattifying primer it's really thick you have to use a tiny pea smidgen amount and really blend it and work it into the skin it keeps that t-zone matte it really really does if you're someone that gets shiny I don't even get too too shiny but my t-zone just the oil is there people but <laughs> this just literally it's like this is the oil like coming out of your skin and this just does that and that this is that primer it's fantastic so this mascara has a funny name but it's just freaking awesome it's the Too Faced better than sex mascara it has a really great wand it gives such flirty thick fluttery lashes it adds a lot of volume and a lot of length it's really similar to the George Armani eyes to kill mascara which was one of my all-time favorites like pre YouTube pre blog I still love my Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow oh oh no 
guys, can you see this? Can you see that? My champagne pop. Well, I was going to say I love this so much, but this is my second one now that's broken. I had one and it came from Sephora and it was all cracked around the outside and I was like, this is going to break. And then I ordered another one and now it's also broken. I might just make this into a loose powder because this is getting freaking ridiculous. The Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. It's such a gorgeous candle lit, kind of almost orangey undertone, really golden highlighter. But uh, it's broken, so I'm mad at it. But a brightening under eye powder, this has been my go-to. This is from Basame. It's their French Vanilla Brightening Translucent Powder. It's almost yellow colored, but it is super translucent, so it hardly translates onto the skin but it really does brighten up your entire under eye area it helps set my concealer so it doesn't budge as well i'm literally digging 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 for all the freaking lip products in this bag because there are so many i'm gonna mention two formulas and then i have a few shades to show you guys as well the first formula wise ones i love are the ysl tint in oils mm, guys these are beautiful first of all they have a really fun applicator that fits into the groove of your lips they're really super super hydrating they have a slight tint to them but they leave a really oily glossy look on the lips and once the oil fades and the gloss fades you're just left with a tint that's what i love about them because the color hangs around even when it's gone next are the revlon matte balms now these just have the most fantastic neutral shades i'm not too big of a fan of their lighter more vibrant shades my favorite shades are fierce fiery and sultry oh what names and they're so beautiful because they're really creamy they're not too matte they don't last as long as something like a matte liquid lipstick but they give that matte effect without drying out your lips i have four lipsticks that i want to tell you guys like I love these shades so much this year, basically. The first one is the Tom Ford Lip Color Shine in Bare. This is basically the Chantecai Brilliant Gloss in Lucky in lipstick form. It just makes your lips look so much bigger. It has a really gorgeous golden undertone that runs through it, so it makes your lips look much more juicy. It's really balmy. The next one is this Rodial Glam Stick. Now, this is in the shade Just Daisy. I just think the shade's really flattering, and the formula of these lasts really long on the lips for it being something as balmy and creamy and hydrating as it is and you can kind of work it into your lips so it leaves almost a stain at the end charlotte tilbury matte revolution lipsticks i'm pretty sure i put these in my favorites last year but this is the shade i've been loved the most this year it's the shade very victoria it's a very mauvey nude color last but not least of my little lipstick installment obviously this was going to be the longest thing in my favorites i love the l'oreal color each lipsticks and they always come out with really special collections this is julianne's nude it's a really light baby pink color i just always have loved these lipsticks and this is the shade i've been reaching for the most when i want a really gorgeous baby pink three skincare things i want to talk to you about they're all pretty luxury to be honest did you guess i was going to talk about the clarins hydro crunch cream mask i've been through one and a half of these this year by half i mean like a mini one <laughs> this is basically a face mask that i use that just sorts out any skin problem like redness inflammation dryness dehydration it's actually a do it all and it's translucent as well so when you put it onto the skin it applies like a cream but then it blends in and it just ends up being clear it's not particularly thick or heavy and i think dehydrated skins will love this the most but it will suit all skin types in terms of eye cream this amore pacific moisture bound eye treatment gel has saved my life this year because my under eyes get so dry they get so flaky they eat up all my concealer learn everything I'm putting on top and make everything just look really gray and horrible and this just has completely changed my eye game basically it just smooths over everything like a little smoothing wave everything applies so nicely over the top everything that i am applying over the top lasts so much better and it just actually keeps my under eyes hydrated lastly a serum that i wrote about the beginning of this year and i was like it's nice you don't really need it but it is nice and it does make a difference I totally changed my mind on that because as soon as I stopped using the serum when I ran out, my skin just started to look really dehydrated and just started to not glow at all. This is basically a super glowing hydrating serum. It's the Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Serum. This is actually my second bottle now. I think the main thing for me with this is it gives you a glow. When your skin's gray, 
it saves the day. <laughs> that rhymed. Quick shout out to my little TMI self because you guys know I love oversharing with you. This is something I discovered this year that's completely changed everything for me. They're the Boots Hair Lightener. It has a step one and a step two. I used to use Jolin before this and honestly it just made, this is basically for hairs like on my face by the way, like anywhere that just has, you just have too much excess hair and you just want to dye it. If you're like me and your hair's black, well that's grey, but if you have me and you have like black hair and you want to make it lighter like I have a lot of hair on my upper lip and stuff. This is perfect because I found the Joylin one I was using or other ones I've tried just make them stand out even more because they're so white and they're so there. Whereas this just kind of like fades them and turns them into almost like a yellowy sort of color. So it just looks, they just kind of blend with your skin better. My hair care favorite this year has been this mousse. This is the L'Oreal Professional volume mousse it has this little tiny little nib i haven't seen anything like this so it really distributes the mousse in sections really easily because that's my one freaking thing with mousse it just goes all over the place and you can never control it but this is a controllable fantastic mousse doesn't make my hair greasy either also in terms of body butters and things this one has been my favorite the lavanilla body butter because it is hydrating it smells out of this world if you like vanilla get yourself some of this because the scent lingers and lingers and lingers and it sinks in really easily as well. There are more hydrating ones out there so if you have crocodile legs in winter I go for something a bit more hydrating but in terms of an all year round do gooder body moisturizer this is my guy. I can't believe I just talked about all of that I must have been going for like 300 miles an hour so I hope you managed to take in all that information I'll leave links for everything in the information box below as well if you have one standout product from this year that you think I need 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 to try please 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 let me know in the comments below also let me know if there are any specific videos you'd like to see from me coming up this month I have a couple of good things planned thank you guys so much for watching i hope you had a great break and a relaxing time and now you're ready for whatever 2016 has in store for us but we're gonna do it together so i'm really excited back to regular videos now i'll be uploading twice a week so i will see you guys in a couple of days time bye guys it's a really nice mauvey nude color and the formula of these, these are the Rouge Volups and they're so pigmented and creamy and hydrating and I just... More things with it, you That's know? so funny. <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I had a brush because I could brush your hair out. But, I know, you I know, have Sorry, if I not. hurt you, no, I mean just tug. To. I don't mind. <laughs> tug, I can't tug. believe you don't do anything with your hair. I never, like I always have it down or like hey guys, sometimes I'll have it up. Comment down below if you want Amelia to do more things with